Hello everyone and welcome back to LLD. I'm here today talking about a very talked about product as of at least I know lately. Um, just a heads up, I really don't keep up with any of like the newest stuff as far as um, the news and as far as like the way products are going. And so um, as far as I know, this has been talked about at least recently. It keeps popping up in my Instagram ads and that is Il Maquillage. So I talked about their foundation, um, the last makeup video that I did. And um, I wanted to try out their primer and I want to try out the face brush. The best thing about them is that you can try their products for free for 14 days. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can send it back and you're good. So they just take out like $5 um, that goes towards the overall cost of the product if you decide to keep it. And if you don't keep it, you can send it back and you're all good. You don't have to worry about anything. So I do love that about this brand. So today I'm going to be trying out the No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. And this like the packaging is really cute too. And it looks like this. So I'm going to be prepping my face with that today and the Il Maquillage brush, which feels really, really nice. So it looks cool. And so I'm going to be using those two things today. I was going to try out this new foundation I got in the mail, but I decided not to try it today. I'll save it for another day, but I'll be using it with the Il Maquillage Foundation in the shade 180, Woke Up Like This is the name of it. And so I'm going to be trying that out today. And on my eyes, I will be using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. I got this actually on sale and I wanted something that would be like a quick eye look for when I don't feel like doing a whole lot, especially since we've been staying at home. And so that's the inside. Very cute. Orangey, it'll give like a natural um, eye look, especially with my skin tone, and I don't have to do a whole lot to put it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and, it's kind of hot in here, so excuse my little hint of sweat. I'm just gonna use just a little bit. As far as I know, you don't really need a whole lot. This is how you can tell I've just opened this because it's not even coming out the pump right away. There it goes. Not a huge fan, it's like not smoothly coming out, at least with like the way the bottle is. So I'll just use a little bit like this much for my entire face. And I like to kind of, it's like kind of jelly. Just kind of like put it all over. Excuse any background noise that you hear. You guys know I have a kid and there's some other people in my house that are breaking stuff down and just, it's just noisy. Okay, so we're all prepped. Wow, that's really nice. It doesn't feel like it's still on your fingers after. It feels like it just absorbed into my skin like really, really nicely. That's really nice. Okay, now that I'm all prepped, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera today. If you would like to see a video of me doing my eyebrows, uh, just comment down below and I will be happy to do a video on me doing my eyebrows. But for today, I'm just going to go ahead and do them off camera and I will come back and show you guys how I do my eyeshadow. Okay, I'm back. Eyebrows are done. Um, and I also primed my eyelids with the Milani eyeshadow primer. And so I normally would do eyeshadow before foundation, but today I'm going to try out doing the foundation first. Um, just because I feel like it might make things go a little bit faster. I actually have somewhere I have to log on to soon, so just gonna go ahead and fix 
like I might have to get some new foundation soon. I think I'm getting low. I'm gonna go ahead and use their 100 foundation blending brush from Il Maquillage. And I'm just gonna That just went on so nicely with the brush. I generally try not to use brushes too much because um, I feel like it creates like a, not really a stuffling effect, but just more of a, um, like a cakey type look. But this is going on like really nicely. I really like this brush. I usually will like use either a um, a sponge or maybe maybe sometimes a brush, but yeah, this went on like really really nicely. I got a nice even coat. That's really nice. The only downside I think I would say is because you are using a brush, you have to use more product because the product gets all on the brush. And so I think that's probably the only thing I would say is the downside about it. If somebody could like make a brush, not silicone based because I really don't like silicone products as far as makeup products go unless it's for like a face mask or something. But it's like if somebody could invent like a brush where it's not like soaking up so much product because then you feel like you have to keep buying and buying and buying. And if you're like, like me where you're a little bit bougie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit bougie. If you're kind of like me, then you know, you spend money on the good products because you know you really honestly you just get what you pay for a lot of the times and i'm not saying drugstore products there's anything wrong with that i have a few drugstore brands myself but i don't know i just feel like i like the the premium type products a little bit better if that makes more sense i like the feel i like how it doesn't break me out And you get like a nice solid product that's so a lot of the times I try to choose products that are good for my skin as well as coverage and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting powder and stuff on my face and I will be right back. Okay, I'm all powdered up and now I'm going to take this tapered crease brush. It's kind of a big fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into this orangey pink shade here and just sweep that over my entire top lid just to kind of give me a nice even base. I'll go ahead and like take the little mirror cover off of this palette if it will come off for me. There we go. I'm really liking how this foundation is sitting on my face. So I had like a small breakout on my face a few weeks ago. And so I've really been trying like not to do any makeup or anything like that. Now I'm going to take this orangey shade just a little bit and put that on the top part of my lid, right above the crease. I don't wanna have any fallout, and that's one of the things I love about the Huda, Huda Beauty palettes is they don't have a whole lot of fallout, but just kinda of tapping off the excess.
Okay. Now I'm going to take my, this is a Morphe brush that came in one of the packages where they give you a bunch of brushes. And so it doesn't have a number or anything on it, but it's, it looks like this. And it's just a smaller fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into this like deeper orangey shade. There's a lot more pigmentation there. So I'm definitely gonna tap off the excess on that one. I don't wanna have any fallout since I did my foundation already. And so now I'm just gonna apply that right underneath the crease. Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> I really, really like this shade. It's almost like a burnt orange. Not like too burnt, but kind of like a burnt orange color. And I really, really like how it's coming out. Like that's really, really pretty. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this slightly darker shade and I'm gonna put that right from the center out. Just to kind of give a uniform look. It just kind of deepens it a little bit. I think I just found like my new favorite palette. And I'm just going from the middle, as you can see, I'm just going from the middle to the outside. I don't wanna get it on the inside cause I'm gonna put um, a shimmery color there. So just kind of blending that together. Super pretty. And now I'm gonna take this brown and I'm just gonna dip just the tip of the brush in there. And I'm just going to dot that on the outside of the eyelid to give it kind of that smoky blended look and just kind of blend it into the rest of that orange, that dark orange that we used. That way it's not too, too uh, dark, but just enough to kind of give that definition. My daughter's like trying to get something out of me right now and I told her I'm trying to do my makeup. So after I finish doing that deep brown eyeshadow, I'm going to take a packed brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take this packed brush here and I'm going to dip it into this, this darker orange shade and that's gonna go underneath. So I'm just gonna put that like right underneath the waterline. On both sides. And now I'm just taking this dark brown shade here, getting a little bit of that and just putting it on the outer corners. So it just kind of blends in with everything else. Okay. And 
I clean that up with concealer. Okay, now that that is finished, I'm going to do the shimmer shade really quickly here. And I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this one, this goldy one right here. Look at how pigmented that is. It's super pigmented. I'm just going to put that right on the inside where we didn't put any of the other color. And then right underneath the waterline. Right into that orange that we put there. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm like loving this eye look. And same thing on the other side. And I like to put it just a little bit over that orange color we did in the middle. So it just looks like it just all blends really well together. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of that same shade and just put it right underneath the eyebrows. Cause that's just going to be my highlight shade today. And a little bit also right on the inner corners. And doing that just makes you look awake. And that's what we want. We don't want to look tired. We want to look awake. Okay. All done with that. I'm going to do my eyeliner and the rest of my face off camera. And I will show you guys the final result. Just real quick, I'm switching my eyeliner pencil because I think part of why I broke out was because I was using some old makeup as far as my like eyes go. And so this is the Kat Von D Anti-Precision Pencil and it's a smoky eyeliner. And it's like a pencil. And so I'm gonna be using that on my lower lash line and my favorite liquid eyeliner from Araceli, Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner. And so it looks like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back to show you guys the results. Okay, I am back and I am loving this eyeshadow palette and I love the eyeliner too. And so um, I definitely recommend the Huda Beauty Topaz palette. It came out really, really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any other questions or if you have any comments about what you want to see in my next video, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. And if you like, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.